Some of you might remember my serendipitous tsunami and Courtney's great explanation for what Weltanschauung feels like. I was hit hard by both of those last week. A mood came over me. A side effect of hormone therapy, I suppose. Nostalgia, regret, sadness, loneliness, and emptiness. Just surfing YouTube. A video collection of 70s music caught my eye. Do any of you remember your first love? I fell hard for Sally and eventually we were going steady. It was a blissful time. Then life happened. She went her way, I went mine, but her memory followed me. As much as that first love is raw and unfiltered, so also is that first loss. The first song on that video was Sweet Caroline, a song that we had shared. Memories flooded in and I crumbled. It has been 50 years and I still turn to Jilly when I see her picture. A little detective work on Facebook found her page and I sent a message. Not in a thirsty way. I was just saying hi and thinking of you. I added a little bit how things had gone for me and hit send. A few days later she replied, quite happy to hear from me. And that was that. My heart was full. Rummaging through a chest of drawers, I found a pair of very nice barber shears, German steel with engraved handles. Linda's mother was a hairdresser in Grand Island during the 30s. It was a bustling railroad town with horse-drawn carriages and the prostitutes would walk across the tracks to get their Marcel curls done. The shears are much too nice for the kind of work I do. And if I left them to my sister, she would use them to cut wire. If I left them to my niece, she would cut paper. Sally is a hairdresser. So the choice was obvious. Unable to find a box, a suitable box, I decided to make one, a simple one day project. Past projects had left scraps of mahogany and hickory around the shop. I gathered up an assortment and pieced together a scissor sized clamshell box, then hollowed a recess to fit the shears. I never know when to stop, and sometimes I go too far. By evening it was inlaid with ebony wood, abalone shell, and a bit of gold cloisonne. The finish is hand-rubbed French polish with de-waxed shellac. It feels quite nice in the hand, and the inlays are as fine as any violin work I had done. Now I still need a box to put the case in. 
My Japanese whetstones came in a nice box with foam liners. They're Japanese, so you know it was in a nice box. Decorated sides, magnetic closures, and a nice cardboard. So nice that I French polished the cardboard too. Subdued string wrapped around a few times and a wax seal for looks. A handwritten letter in the envelope was slipped under the string. Some bubble wrap, an old Amazon shipping bag, and it was ready to go. I turned the bag inside out, dropped the box in, and addressed it. But it was Friday night. It would be Monday before I got to the post office. A year of sheltering in place in a house full of art supplies in the blank back of a shipping bag crying out to me for the whole day. Once again, I don't know when to stop. I started tracing the wrinkles in the bag until a pattern emerged. Then I covered the whole back with a crazy pin and colored ink drawing. The postage tracking said it would arrive on Thursday. Thursday came and went with no word. Did she get it? Did a porch pirate steal it? Did she ignore it? Thankfully, tracking put my mind at ease. Delivered 12.30 Friday. It was evening before a message finally arrived. It was from her, and the message was one simple line. A phone number. My heart was beating 150 beats per minute, and my hands were trembling as I dialed. It was her, and we talked for two hours. The package was a day late, and had arrived on the 35th anniversary of her studio opening. She was thrilled and told me she cried. We talked of lives lived and how she owns her own studio with eight chairs and drives a Corvette and has been happily married to a policeman for 20 years. The upward arc of her life mirrors the downward arc of mine like a rainbow reflected in a pond. So there is no f fairy tale ending. But I wonder, the universe has been kind to me lately. What is it up to now? <laughs>